My name is Sam. I'm an astronomy PhD student, and oh, and I'm in the classes. <laughs> uh, multivariate analysis and pattern analysis. What advice do you have for PhD students who are interested in internships? <laughs> <laughs> Call apply, us, Sam. Apply, apply, <laughs> apply. <laughs> yeah. I, I think agreed. I mean, I, I think from an internship perspective, um, you know, getting aggressive with the companies that are out there, showing your interest specifically, you're not looking for an internship. So many, so many students who come to us and know they haven't done no research on Bizarre Voice at all. They just walk in looking for an internship versus the ones that come in and have done research on the company and have ideas or thoughts. Now they can be completely outlandish because they're basing it off what was ever you know publicly available. But the fact that they thought about it and came with some thoughts and, and why they're interested in having an internship, specifically at our organization, make a big difference. Yeah, that's you know that's advice not just for an internship but for any job interview, yeah. right? When you when I get a candidate that comes in for an interview and they know nothing about how semiconductors are made, they know nothing about what the industry is. I don't tend to listen to them for very long, um, right? Somebody who's actually shown interest in in the job that they're applying for. And, and has some examples of what they could do better, what they what ideas that they could help the industry move forward with, even if they're completely off base, right? Yeah. They've thought about what they're coming in to, to talk to you about, and they've looked enough about your company to kind of know what the position, they don't know what the position is, but they know what the company does and they know why it interests them. Um, that's really the, the most important thing that, that I would look at in a candidate is, do you know what we do and how does that fit into what you want to do? Yeah, read the annual report. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty, I mean, the company will tell you almost everything you need to know and then bring your ideas and thoughts. It's amazing how many people don't even bother to do that. Yeah, I would just add uh, from, uh, from your perspective, from sort of a self-interested as a candidate perspective, make sure you understand uh, the parameters of the internship at that particular organization. Not all organizations are equally good at making sure that they're delivering a, a strong sort of professional and educational experience to their interns, not just getting dramatically cheaper labor for a few months when it's hot outside. So I would, I would, you know, do do my homework on that as well. Try to try to speak to others in the internship and, and ask questions about about how that works, about what the kind of work is that you'll be up to, and uh, you know what what sort of how they think about measuring the success of the internship program in that organization. And I would say also create your own. You know, if you've got somewhere that you're very interested in learning about what they, what they have to offer you, can you create your own? 